here is just a very simple uh, time location diagram. I just made this a uh, simple one on Excel. What we have is a representation of a part of a road. So let's say that this road has a length of 300 whatever units is and uh, um, it, it's going to be developed in approximately 13 months. This is the basic of uh, time location. Um, then what we can see when we include here activities is that this particular bridge that we can see there on the diagram is actually going to be built from month 5 to month 9. And we can say that these two activities here, which um, obviously they don't, I don't put a key in here for, for, in purpose, but uh, the idea is to just to represent these, these activities, which can mean, for instance, the execution of this um, left hand side of the road, which is done from month zero to month five, and uh, the right hand side of the road up to the bridge is being built from month zero to month five. So one flow of works goes this direction up and the other flow of works go the other direction. And we can see that here by these arrows just to represent. So we can see the sequence of works. We can see the direction of the teams and um, we can infer other uh, information like the productivity rate of this activity, it's higher than the productivity rate of that activity. Um, this is because the inclination of, uh, of, of, the, of the, the line. So in this particular activity, we achieve probably 18 units of location under uh, four months of, of time. In there, we achieve, in the other activity, we achieve much less, um, if it's exactly the same activity, much less in, in, in actually less time. But if we compare time by time, <clears throat> we will understand that that activity has um, a, a smaller productivity rate.